Hi friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome again to another JDBC video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the callable statement interface that allows us to execute stored procedures in a relational database. Callable statement is the JDBC interface that allows us to execute stored procedures. The JDBC API, or Application Programming Interface, provides a stored procedure SQL escape syntax that allows stored procedures to be called in a standard way for all relational database management systems. If you'd like to know how to create stored procedures in a relational database, I have a video in my MariaDB for Beginners video series that shows how to create them. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Before we look at how to create and process a callable statement in Java, let's look at several procedures that I have created in MariaDB. I'm going to open up a session of dBeaver. Now, dBeaver is a free universal database manager. Let's go to the database navigator, expand the databases entry, and then the tutorial database. Let's also expand the procedures entry. You'll see here that I have created two procedures. They are get all employees and get employee or a singular one employee. Let's double click on the get all employees procedure. And that will then open in the right tab. Let's then right click and execute the stored procedure. Click run. And what we get is a listing of employees from the employees table in our tutorial database. We get the ID column, the employee ID column, as well as the last name and first name. If we go back to the Get All Employees tab and click on the source, then we will see how that stored procedure was defined. And it is a very simple stored procedure. In fact, all that it does is the stored procedure wraps a SQL SELECT statement that retrieves the ID, employee ID, first name, and last name from the employees table for each record in that table. As I mentioned, this is a very simple stored procedure, but these procedures can be quite complex. Now, let's do the same with the GET EMPLOYEE procedure. Execute the stored procedure, and we have to specify an employee ID. I'm going to specify employee ID number five, execute, and we get the employee record where the ID is number five. And that would be Irving Stern. So these are the two procedures that I have created. Now that we've had a look at those procedures and what they do, let's look at how we can use JDBC to access those procedures in Java. As usual, I've already created a project in Java, and this is very similar to our last project on the prepared statement. We have our database URL, our username and password for accessing the database. I've also created three variables, one for the connection, one for the callable statement, and one for the result set. And I have a try-catch block where we're going to do the heavy lifting. First, we get a connection using a static method getConnection of our database class, and then print database connection successful, if in fact that was the case, to the console. Now we're going to make a plan on how we're going to attack creating and processing a callable statement to access the stored procedure in the MariaDB database. So first, we're going to create some SQL or SQL for the callable statement. We'll then create the callable statement, execute the callable statement, and process the result set. Let's start with step number one. We'll create some SQL. So string SQL equal. The SQL for a callable statement has to be wrapped in curly braces. So I'm going to put those in, beginning and ending. Then we have to enter the keyword call, C-A-L-L. -L followed by the procedure name, and in this case it is get all employees. Name of the procedure is case insensitive, but to make it more readable, I've used the camel case where the first letter of each word is capitalized. Then we have the open and close round brackets. 
And in the round brackets is where we would put any parameters that we wish to provide and pass to a stored procedure. So this is the syntax for the SQL for the stored procedure get all employees. Next, we're going to create a callable statement. Callable statement equals connection dot prepare call passing our SQL. We'll execute the statement, capturing the result set. So result set. This is the same for the statement and the prepared statement that we've looked at in previous videos. Result set equals callable statement dot execute query. Once we've executed the query and captured any result set, we then, as always, need to process that result set. We'll do that same as for the statement and the prepared statement in a while loop. So while result set dot next And to save time, I'm simply going to copy and paste code that we've used in both the statement and prepared statement. We'll simply print out to our system console the ID, employee ID, first name, and last name from each record in the result set. Let's now right-click on the project, run as Java application, and you'll see down in the console, database connection. I had spelled database connect properly successful as well as the ID employee ID first name and last name for each record in our employee table next we'll look at our second stored procedure get employee going back to dbvert we see the get employee procedure selects the ID the employee ID first name and last name from the employees table where the ID equals a parameter that we pass to the stored procedure named IEMPID. We show that up here as an input parameter of type integer. So let's go back to Java. I'm just going to modify the code that we've already created for the first stored procedure because it's very similar. So let's go to step one, create the SQL. We do a call to get employee we'll change the name and we do need a placeholder for a parameter so I'll put in a question mark we'll create the callable statement callable statement is the same equals connection dot prepare call passing the SQL I'll now add a part to a to insert parameter value callable statement dot set int the name of the parameter and as I showed you in dbeaver by looking at the input parameter it is IEMPID so I'll simply copy that put that in our set int as the parameter name and I'll set the value at number five so what we're doing here is we're executing the get employee which will get the employee record with the ID of five. Again, we're processing the result set that is obtained from the callable statement. In this case, it will only retrieve a single record and we're printing the value to the console. So let's run the program. This time we should only see record number five, which is Irving Stern. And we can verify that by going back to our tables, employees, the data, and number five is indeed Irving Stern. We've covered the basic steps on processing stored procedures using a JDBC and the callable statement interface. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any videos when I release new content. Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, please stay safe. Take care and keep on coding.